Hello and welcome to another episode of Death by Bungie. This episode is all about fertilizer for your food plot. Okay, I'm standing down below the house at the Buckfield food plot. You may remember this is the food plot last year. Uh, I sat over this food plot on opening day last year and saw a nice selection of does come in. Never took a shot or anything, but really enjoyed the opening day. This food plot last year, just like most of my food plots in the past that have been successful anyway, uh, was some kind of mixture of a brassica. It was an annual. Uh, had a lot of radishes and uh, forage rape, things like that. This year, what I've opted to do is actually start a spring food plot here. It's a mixture called uh, Red Zone from Antler King. I've got that on here. One of the reasons it worked well is because I did a good job with the fertilizer. In this particular case, I followed the manufacturer's recommendations. They called for triple 19. I ended up using triple 15, close enough as far as uh, the overall selection is concerned. And as you can see, it's taken quite nicely. Now, what's the first thing you need to know about fertilizer? The first thing you need to know about fertilizer is lime. You got to make sure you got your food plots properly limed. If you don't have the right soil acidity, the right soil pH, that fertilizer is not going to work the best. In fact, it might have the adverse effect and actually might undo some of what you want the fertilizer to do. See my other video about soil pH. Get the lime on your food plots before you do the fertilizer. Lime way in advance. If you haven't started liming, lime, start liming now. All you need to know about fertilizer is this. There are three numbers that come up, right? It's the first one is your nitrogen, second one is your phosphorus, third one is your potassium or potash. Those are the three numbers. Now, which ones do you pick? Just read the back of your food plot seed. Read the back of that bag and see what they recommend and apply that fertilizer. Basically, what you're going to find out is if you're playing annuals, if you're playing things like uh, the radishes and the forage rape, things of that nature, those food plots like to have a good amount of nitrogen, something like a 15, 15, 15. If you are planting perennials, right, you're trying to get your clover food plot to grow, then you're going to want something a little higher on the pot, actually, to 240. Those are the types of fertilizers you would use for clovers and things of that nature. So basically that's what you're going to see. But look on the back of the bag and that's all you need to know. Now how do you put the fertilizer on? You can do it by hand, you can spread it by hand, or you can use a spreader like I've been using, like I'll show you in this video. I found that that's the best way to do it. Uh, it does a nice even distribution of the product and it's even better when I've got somebody sitting in the back of the ranger, such as my daughter. She can ride around the back, keep an eye on the spreader and tell me when it's getting low. Now another good question is when do you put the fertilizer on? Different people put it on at different times for different types of crops. What I've done is if it's an established plot like this where I've already had a, a, a crop in there, I just spread it at the time that I go through uh, and till it up. I just go through, uh, spread it, till it, seed it, pack it, done. If, on the other hand, it is a brand new spot, something like out there in the field, where I'm planting a mixture of something called mean bean, which is soybeans and some other product this year, in a case like that, I tilled it first. I had to kill all the weeds and all that stuff. That was really thick sod. It had never been, hadn't been tilled in decades. So I went through and tilled it first, got the rocks picked off, then I fertilized it, then I tilled that in good. But you kind of want to work it into the soil, and that's how I did it. So. Basically at the same, I fertilize at the same time that I'm doing the seeding, but I work it in the soil first if I get a chance to do that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video from Death by Bungie. Uh, hope you enjoyed the update on the food plots as well. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure you like us on Facebook. On the Facebook page, I put a lot of videos on there and put a lot of other stuff on there. It doesn't necessarily make its way into these YouTube videos. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, look us up on Facebook as well. And until next time, all hail Bungie. Hello and welcome to another episode of Death by Bungie. This episode of Death by Bungie is all about lime. No, it's not.